So today what I wanted to do was just show you how easy it is to make breakfast. So we're going to make breakfast um, in the time it takes the kettle to boil. Seriously, that's how long it takes. So I have my ingredients here. I have my plastic tubs that I use um, to do this. They're different sizes, but these work for me. These are old yogurt pots. Um, these are uh, bought ones. You could use metal containers as well, or whatever you've got. I have my oats, porridge oats, normal porridge oats, nothing special about those. Uh, these are frozen raspberries. You can use any fresh fruit, any frozen fruit. I buy the raspberries uh, fresh. Put them in a bag, lay them out when they're on offer in the freezer and freeze them dead quick. This is my little measuring jug. You can use any measuring jug you like. And milk. Any milk, almond milk, hot milk, semi-skim milk, whatever you want. As you can see, I don't have the most beautiful kitchen. I may have in one day, but it doesn't need to be pretty. So I'm going to turn the kettle on and make overnight oats in the time it takes the kettle to boil. Roughly double the amount by volume of liquid to oats. Okay, that's the liquid. Quick stir. Hot with frozen or fresh. I put about that much, you can put more, you can put less. Done. Kettle's still boiling. I can put everything away while it's still boiling. Kettle's still boiling. Who hasn't got time to make breakfast now? Put them in the fridge, take one out for breakfast, take it with you, you can eat it on the train, you can eat it at your desk, top with nuts, seeds, any kind of fruit that you like, honey, I'm just going to put these in the fridge while the kettle's still boiling. Guess what, kettle's still boiling. So that means you can have five ready prepared breakfast ready in the time it takes to make a cup of tea. Who wouldn't want that? Kettle's still boiling. I think it's just about to finish now, but hey, we're done. So I'm gonna get my mug out and make a cup of tea. <laughs> 